Hey, good morning, crafty people. It is Rena, and I have a project that is actually not a design team project. Um, this was a commissioned project um, for a gal who contacted me and wanted an album um, for her high school. I think I think it was for her high school photos, and um, she picked out this paper pad from Hobby Lobby. And it's called, um, what's it called? <laughs> uh, it's by Me and My Big Ideas. And it says Mambi, Mambi Sheets. Anyway, it's kind of a cool collection. It's a little kind of retro-y to me, in my opinion. Um, and I hope you like this share. I hope she likes it too. <laughs> so, um... Here we go. Um, the cover, I kept it really simple. It's a very large book. It's an eight by 10 by five. And um, so I wanted to keep the cover and the sides and everything simple. Um, everything uh, except like three sheets are from the collection. This collection has a couple sheets that um, are blank except they have just words on it. And so most of the page I couldn't even use, but I did cut out the words and use the words. So anyway, here we go. Um, this is a sentiment from the collection. This is a paper from the collection. Loved this one. Actually, I love both of these very, very much. That's why I wanted to put them on the cover. Um, the colors in here are peach and mint and lavender. So you're going to see that color scheme as well as the gold mixed in. Um, this is how I did the uh, the binding and um, I had this rosette um, trim in my stash in the peach and the mint so that worked really well used my Zutter bow at all um, to make this bow this is a uh, DIY boutique supply bling and this awesome piece right here I think is um, something I just picked up at Michael's uh, on super sale and then there's the back. So really simple exterior. Um, hopefully you guys will find it more elaborate on the interior. So here are our first two pages. My first page um, has this little pocket and I used a um, a die cut right here and then I had this gold butterfly in my stash for a long time I don't use gold much so I pulled out what gold that I had and used that up so I made this little photo booklet and these are just layered papers from the collection this is a little die cut and this is a magnolia die and then I just layered um, some of my flowers on rosettes to give them a little bit of a shabby look this opens up like this and you have room to slide your your photo in underneath this little let me find something Ugh. right under like that and this is magnetic so it stays closed and then you open up like this and there's room for larger photos a little journaling spot and also smaller photos on the outside so that closes up like that, and like that, and tucks right back in here. Okay. Um, in each gusset, I have this white um, trim that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Then this page, I added this kind of cool um, mirror. It's gold, and I've had this in my stash for quite some time. Um, this was gifted to me by Scrappy Jazz, my down under friend. Love this so much. I thought that was kind of cool. It opens up like this. There's this happy sentiment. The photo can go underneath there. That closes up magnetic. I had this peach and gold trim in my stash. This opens up like that and there's like a little uh, sentiment spot down here 
and then this opens up again and that magnetizes together and then here you can pull out these two large photo mats this one says this is one of those pages where um, it was all peach and then all it said on it was don't forget to be awesome so the rest of this was kind of not usable and let me get this in frame and show you um, let me actually see if I can there we go so that closes up like that so let's go on to the next page and that is this page here and I use that cool paper from the front again I have my flowers on the rosettes just a different color rosette and I have these little purple butterflies in my stash this says memories and this opens all the way up like that and then we have a flap here photo can go here have a couple spots with a little bit of glue um, a sentiment right here and then this also opens down so quite a bit of room for photos here down in here at the bottom on both sides and then that flap holds it closed okay on this page this is a pullout and this is another page that had um, the words hello and beautiful on it and that's all it had then the rest of the page was this color so uh, I fussy cut that out and then I um, fussy cut around a border and I made a side pocket here with some uh, box plated trim and some more rosettes and flowers and then I made this little booklet and I love this paper here uh, this is a die cut um, I recently just picked up at the scrapbook expo let me see if I can get this open and I may have a problem I do have a problem and I will fix that I'm gonna have to put another layer of paper because apparently I had some glue on that die cut okay so it opens like this I'm gonna put like a little strip of another piece of paper down here to get rid of that um, but the cool thing just when this is tucked in this says beautiful and this says memories so I kind of thought it was beautiful memories so this opens up put a photo here and put a photo here and then this opens like this and like this and then we've got all those different colored coolness and then this opens like that so there we go that tucks back in there and we'll move on to our next pages sorry this book is a little hard to share because it is pretty interactive um, so this these are my next this is my next page uh, a few more flowers and some trims um, this is a magnolia die here and then this arrow this arrow and these uh, chevron arrows um, I recently well not recently but I picked those dies up at Tuesday morning um, this is from the collection of course this sentiments from the collection and this opens up like that and like that and then this one also opens this paper right here was actually not from the collection this is something I pulled out of my stash but it goes really well and that opens up like that so this page I'm gonna pull all these out this is a let me turn it up you can probably see better um, this is a deep pocket and <clears throat> this is just a plastic piece that I saved from a die collection that I received in the mail and I glued it on um, and then these things 
because this is deep, all that will slide in there. Um, room to write, you know, some kind of journaling there. Happiness is you and me. That came from another paper from the collection that that's all it had on it. And then the rest of the background was this brown stuff, which I didn't find very interesting. So I have these, all these little booklets, and they all have some kind of gold little closure on them. So you just take the, take that off. It opens up and room for photos. The little clip actually isn't necessary. I just thought it was a cute little accent. So room for a lot of photos on these four little journaling booklets. So this little heart. I can't tell if I'm in frame or not. Sorry, guys. So. And the little... Little heart goes back on there. And then this one. So that is that. And that all tucks back in there. So this is a simple pocket page. And down here at the bottom, it says laugh, and I have these lavender resin hearts, and it's just two pockets, and let me pull out, these are four by fours here that go in the bottom, and then when you pull them out, it says love you, and then up here, you pull those out and it says love my life and then I have um, some larger photo mats and they're all on double sided then on this page this is from the collection follow your heart another rosette flower a flat back bow that's also from scrappy jazz this is a magnolia die and some trims I had in my stash and everything's magnetized. It opens up. Room for lots of photos. And then this page here gets pretty seriously interactive. Um, more magnolia dies. Another one of those arrows. This is something that was recently gifted to me, and I wondered what I would ever use it for. And I just thought a high school photo or a high school album was really cool. Um, this word. This was another one from the collection that it had shine and then it had the stars on it and I added memories so memories shine and this says check me out and the arrow says love this thought that was kind of cool so this opens up like that and this opens up the same like that then this opens up like this and this one opens up like that. So a lot, a lot of room for photos on that page. And then our last page is this page here, and this has the word adventure on this light bulb and another flower cluster and some magnolia dyes, uh, flat back uh, resin flowers. This opens up. And the word hello was fussy cut, and the photo can go underneath it. And then it opens this way. And then this says hello, friend. And then that opens like that. So there you go. Um, like I said, I, I really did kind of like this paper collection in many ways, but it's so not shabby chic. It's so retro. Um, you know, I did struggle a little bit um, because it's not my style, but let me know what you think. And I certainly hope uh, the gal who's purchasing this is happy. 
please message me and let me know <laughs> um, and I'll get this out to you ASAP. I actually do have uh, a box ready to go for it. Um, you can see it closes really nicely. It does not need a closure. Um, you know, there it is. And um, thanks for watching. You guys have a happy, scrappy day. Talk to you soon.